This is Veggie Quest, a puzzle game where you play as the puzzle designer and fight against a perfectly smart AI. And in this video, we're going to be playing a lot with this new type of tile, a water tile that pushes characters at the end of the turn. Anyway, intro over, let's get to the gameplay. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Starting today, I will no longer appoint myself or my pet rabbit as an employee of the month. So if a chance to achieve this honor now, it is almost as exciting as collecting those digital carrots you like so much. Oh, you can find a link to your scores per level high scores in a few weeks. In a few weeks, like that bunny game. <laughs> Apparently, a few weeks means a couple months. So the mechanic of this world is water. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. I can probably put walls on the water and they don't like wash away. Um, though I would like to block the most obvious routes. That's a little bit more. Hmm. But it, the this character can move diagonally one space each turn as well as just normally. I guess I don't need these. I really wanted to go like the most inefficient way, of course, because the goal is to make the most inefficient path. So we got one carrot. I want to get all three. Something like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, <laughs> that's the most inefficient path, which means that we've very much succeeded. So since the water always tries to push away, this character absolutely needs to go on the outer edge to be able to succeed. Because then it can just move back up after getting pushed down by the water, for instance. And it happens for every side here. Alright, next level. Board edge is not a wall. Okay. <laughs> the freaking what? That's an enemy bunny, but that's just to show the enemy bunny is like, it's forced to fall off screen. Hmm, alright. We can do that. Oh, we can't. We probably don't have the turn to do so. Hmm. This character, by the way, this is a character that can run up to two tiles in a straight line per turn. It can't move diagonally, but it can run up to two tiles. So that means it can fight against the current. Which is actually relevant. Oh wait, that's not possible? Hmm. Uh, a little awkward there. But basically, because it can sprint up two... Now that's still very... Uh, that doesn't work at all. That's way too efficient. But I think I want to focus on this... This movement. It can go up two, and then it'll fall back down one because of the water. So that is the most inefficient thing that this could do. And that might be pretty relevant here. Of course, that means it goes down this especially quickly, because it's going down by three, effectively. Hmm. So the usual way to, like, play with this character, the usual way is like this, making a staircase. But I bet this time it's not going to be so efficient, because the water will make it move down. So that's really, it's really bad. I came up with this path. Like, at least it makes it stall a little bit on the left side, but I think this is still not very good. Although it does get us one carrot, which is technically beating the level. Oh, is this better? There's a lot of stuttering there. Oh my god, really? That was... <laughs> so... Okay, I was just... I didn't realize this was a better way of splitting, but yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Our program wants you to know you can place multiple rivers at once by holding arrow keys. <laughs> we have a new programmer every week. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so if I hold down, then all my water that I place will be facing down. That makes sense. And also, of course, now I can place water. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I don't think I want a whirlpool, is it? Hmm. Not completely sure. How to, how to think about this. <laughs> like, I, of course, now I'm the one placing the river. And... I want it as far as possible. Can it skip over the river in one turn? I actually want to know. Yeah, I, it didn't even seem like that had an effect whatsoever. So can't you, like, dash through? Like, what is the... You're just going to be able to dash through it. So... Hmm... I, I guess I could block that side of the dash. That's just the most basic thing you could ever do. Hmm. Is it even possible to make this impossible? Maybe we could, like, do, um... Drop all these towards the center. And then it would be impossible. Okay. Let's uh, start, because then it means we could maybe carve out a path somehow. But I bet, like, it's very easy to make it possible again. Also, I know that I... Okay, I kind of forgot about this detail, but you can, like, threaten to make you move off-grid. Maybe I do something like this. 
where that's the path I carve. But I, I will have to prevent that from working. Nope, that doesn't even work. Like, you need a safe space up there, I think. But apparently you can't even reach it from here. Oh, right. Hmm. Hmm. This is not good. In a move I probably should have done first, I'm, I filled the whole board up with down. Which is the same as, like, a thing I did before. It would be nice if we could make the final step also a frustration on the other side. Right now, we're not quite getting there. Hmm. Like, optimally, we would like it to be frustrating to make it, um... This, like, this won't work because it will get sent down to, uh, the dumpster, by the way. Like, you want it to make it as frustrating to go up as it is to go right. Alright, and, uh, I got 12 by replacing these with this, so... <laughs> Should have done that earlier, but this is this is even better. I don't know if I can make it work all the way here though. Okay, does this work? No, that's even worse. Hmm. So that's worse. I would like to force the entire left side to be used. Still twelve. Hmm. Can we force? Oh, this would be painful if the, if it works. I, I know it's still 12, okay. And I also see that it's using the top... This It's using this one. I can make it not use that one by making it go up instead. Maybe, hopefully that's the final thing that we need to do. No, it just ignores it. Mm. This puzzle is so weird. Like, if you count the number of squares... Like, if, if you were just able to walk one space, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like, it's exactly 12 steps... If it was a normal character that didn't sprint and there was no water. So, to have more than 12 means that there's some sort of way to make you, like, lose progress for more than one square. There's something interesting about this, and I, I know this is a very bad setup, but I just want to show this. This square, like, you can't get to the carrots without getting to this square. But the only way to get there is to take this special path, where I step on this and... I'm able to stay on this square without dying. And then it will sprint here and then go here. So I feel like that has to be the trick. Like there's got to be some way to force a path even with the rest of the water around it. All right, so I've changed it up. So you can see I'm using that principle. I just said we're at nine moves. Of course, it looks slow, but it's like it's a really interesting path that I can do that, and I wonder if I could get a good score just by delaying it a little bit more. So that's a 10. It's interesting, I didn't even really know, notice that the player could do this until now, but apparently a player can also choose to idle on a freaking turn just by going here and letting the water move. Didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make the middle square now. I'm gonna make that inaccessible. Like, if you do this, the middle square is actually inaccessible, and that's the one that will allow the trick. So, I'm gonna do this, like... I'm gonna set up something where I go all the way there, around the bottom, and then hopefully it'll work out. It's so clever and weird that this is, like, a thing. And then I'm gonna block off the edge. Hopefully this works without a cheese. No, it's very easy to cheese. Um, maybe there? That's a little weird, though. We can't allow the cheese, so we need to fill up the rest with garbage. It's, it's even harder to see. This is why I didn't really want to do it for the video. But adding the extra obstacle tiles makes it really hard to see what's going on. It's basically a guarantee that it looks like a mess. Ugh. So I... This is... It takes this path, which is... It goes down the bottom and goes up. 13? 14? Oh my god, there's no way that's the max. It's just... It's really surprising, though. That this level acts like this. It's like... But I guess we know from Bob is you that conveyor belt belt to shift is a spaghetti mess. <sighs> it trivially add one with that. Ugh, but I don't want to do more. No, it doesn't even add one. Whatever, dude. <sighs> it's whatever. Next. Looks sim- oh well. We're playing with the normal character again, which can only move one tile at a time instead of two, like the previous one. But... Wait, how is this- Oh my god, they've- They've done it. They've finally done it. Pushing mechanics in my veggie quest. So probably this one stays in there forever unless like... Hmm. Well, of course, because we're playing with this character, 
Like, walls are actually walls, basically. So if I do that, that's going to take a longer time. But it's going to, uh, it's not going to be one way, because you can see that after this, it's very easy to get back. Hmm. I can make this path more excruciating down here, but what else can I do? Oh. And also, that was, that's a worry I was thinking about, and it turns out, like, it does happen, where one of the characters can go to the other side, which I didn't prepare for, clearly. Can I block it off with, um, like, where's up? Oh my god, why, why have I forgot how to move things up here? No, it can still try to go to the other side, which I don't want. Should've just blocked off that possibility by doing that. No, what? What was that for? Oh my god, it's using the, like, it can't go in the same spot mechanic to... <laughs> nice exploit to get past that section, dude. Cool. <laughs> Good job. Alright, now you don't move, but I'm getting... Uh, yeah, this is still not efficient enough. I'm missing something. I think it's going to be more edge walking again. <laughs> also, the mechanic isn't actually pushing. It's... Water cannot move into another character. So it looks like pushing, but it is not. It's legally distinct pushing. Okay, yes, I did rearrange everything, and I got 32. Um... It turns out this is slightly better, and also, like, it, it doesn't really matter that it forces this, the, the other veggie to go here. And that makes it go from below. I'm still not completely sure, like, if the second carrot, it would be nice to know if the second carrot is near 32, or maybe it's one of those ridiculous levels where it's, like, really, actually really high. <laughs> like, one thing I can think of that would be super inefficient in a funny way is, like, if you got stuck down there, like, if you were stuck and then needed the other character to help you get out of it, but, like, not in such an easy way, right? But then, f if you were forced to go down the same path, that would be hilarious. <sighs> I don't know how possible this is. Something that's kind of a meme is, like, I've set it up. This is what the AI does for this. It's 32, it's just, like, it's not much better. But if I do that, which would seem to lock up this even more, it's actually slower i don't understand how why that works like that but um amazing i've actually been on this level for a bit but not really putting anything on the grid the thing that i've thought about just like recently is you could get a left dislodge like imagine dislodging this from the trap here using some path and then forcing it to use the other one in other words of course it's like taking two trips so like the trip one you you would go some path here dislodge the top one then force both of them to go back the same way that would be my ideal it's the problem with doing that is that like there would be a need an actual need you would need an actual way to dislodge it. And that already seems to take up a lot of space already. Hmm. 27 is pretty impressive for how big, how empty the board is. It still feels like it could be really not that efficient. But you can see the double backing, right? Again, we're at 32 already, but like with clear improvements that we could make. I don't know if like that's enough, like just adding those. Like that, that barely does anything <laughs> that made it even worse. Okay, so I got this. The first path is there, but it's kind of inefficient on the return path. Like, it doesn't it doesn't double back the whole route. But we got 35 now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to set it up so the top left is, like, the, the place for the, the trick there. Although I don't want anyone to go here. So I need to prevent that as well. Okay, this looks like a decent start. <sighs> I feel like I need some... Like, I really want to lock down the top left. But this is not it, is it? Like, this gets 35 as well. Could make it more inefficient. Maybe. It's weird, because making it more efficient would be going back to the first part of the level. Kind of. But I don't have that yet. Alright. Back on this thing. Uh, I noticed the most inefficient thing is, like, here. Like, why are we going back here? I wanted to go back here, so let's do this and then block off this side. Now, I still don't like the emptiness of the top left, but I wasn't able to figure out how to deal with that one for now. That's okay, second carrot. Hmm. By the way, is there any chance that this one, like, is the one that's doing all the action, and the, the lower one is trapped, even though it looks like the opposite? 
It's actually a little depressing that that is 26 with barely any effort. But yeah, in a way that makes more sense because this one has two requirements of two of the characters need to be in a specific location. Like the first one is here where the two characters need to connect. And the second one is like up there. Hmm. Alright, so I made a path. I'm gonna make the this side not possible to reach. And now, what happens? You go there. Oh my god, 43. <laughs> and just, just with a mentality change. And that gets 43. Cool. <laughs> there's probably some slight improvements. Like, there's probably a trick with here. I feel like there is. Like that, and then forcing you to go here and here. Also, I'm gonna make that face up. But that's probably very small. Also, didn't this freaking even work? 45. Um, the main problem is probably that this one, this freaking vegetable doesn't, this onion, I guess, doesn't take the long route. Hmm. All right, new idea, new layout. Uh, mostly the main change is double layering this water, as that will, I hopefully allow this uh, to, to take the longest route. Yes. Okay. 51. All right. I'm trying to think of ways I can make things more annoying. Like here, you could go up, right? Like the, you could do up moves. Something's a bit wrong here, but okay, that adds some more inefficiency. I hope. Okay, 53. <sighs> okay. So also, I noticed that the 52 is the third carrot, and fi so. Yeah, is there probably more annoying ways to do this level? Probably, yeah. <laughs> we'll pretend that's the best solution, though it probably isn't, because I want to get done with the game. <laughs> um, so, right, you're the one that can move right up or upright, but that's all. So you are you can also move diagonal. Like, upright oh, obviously involves diagonal, so that's one way to do it. So, how do we make that more inefficient? We can make you idle, right? So... I could force you to wait for the the left move, and that would be really inefficient to have to do. Other than that, though, I'm not completely sure what to do. I'm not really using its uh, left move very much. Hmm. Okay, I did a very irrelevant improvement on the top. That still doesn't get us anywhere, but there it is. Alright, new idea. What if... We super bottleneck the down motion. So the idea with that would be that we are constantly making this move down. Of course, we want to force it to move all the way up first, of course. And then we have like left. So we, we just repeat this pattern over and over here. So we're making it go through a lot of effort. But since it always needs to move down, it has to deal with our down motions that we force. Okay, 31. Like, it'd be fun if there was some way to mess with the diagonals, but maybe there isn't. Like, that would require... Like, if there was any things that we special we could do in the diagonals, we would be able to do on both sides. Um, so let's try something different on the middle part. I'm thinking if we go down like this. And then up. Well, we don't even need up, because our character can move up already. So this... Oh, oh, we need an up. Wait. We need a left here. So that... Is that more efficient? So it's going to go down, and then we're going to use that left restriction as well, because this thing can't move left naturally on its own. Okay, that's 32. There we go. It's the boss. Yeah, it's the boss, of course. So we're playing with the wizard character, which can teleport through one layer of walls. So the walls, in, in this case, are really just going to help the wizard. Pretty much. I mean, I don't know if I want to block the walls from happening, or... Hmm. Because I could set up the rivers so that they never touch the wall. Or I could maybe set it up so that it's in, we intend for it to teleport one way and not the other. I actually don't know the interaction between water and this. Like, it doesn't even want to do that. Hmm. I want to see if... Just, well, why? Why? Okay, yeah, it does do this, and the effect of moving down happens after the teleport. I was wondering that, so yeah, it does. Now, there could be some parity stuff going on. 
Um, it's kind of hard to imagine. Like, I'm going to have to block off all this other stuff. Like, I just imagine that it's going to be blocking off this side. And it's not possible. <sighs> Why is it not possible? Did I forget to put that in? Okay. Hmm. Kind of interesting I can do here. Like, I've blocked off the top and the right in the exact same way. Like, imagine if the wizard teleported through here. He would get pushed and then have no way to get to the carrot. And the same is true for up here. I'm not sure that's going to be enough, though. Here's some downwards action would be nice. All right, let's see this. So it is currently going down the way one. Oh, it's already 21. I thought this was a boss level, unless the third is really hard. Now, to be fair, maybe an entire runaround is better down there. So that would be what here. No, no, no! I don't want you to teleport here. Maybe there is no way to make that better. Like, where am I being? In I guess here, maybe. Like, then I force the teleport to the right side. Yep. Oh, really? That's just it. What the? Why is this the difficult one? This level's a bit suspect in that I didn't spend much time on it, and yet I already have three. When like other levels were way more excruciating to get, to get three. <sighs> Doubt this is the max. All right. I'm gonna try something with the edging trick now. The one where, like, this is the only way to use the, like, this is the only way to get there. Which means we have to block off this side as well. Hmm. And then what do you do with the remaining path? So I, I take this sort of path. Hmm. Not really using the bottom path well at all. I don't want that to happen either. Nope, nope, no cheeses, please. Hmm. No, no, no! Can't allow that either. Hmm. Oh, that's already 20. And there's a, there's a very obvious skip here, in, even in my 20. I don't like the amount of water that I'm putting in there that, like, makes the wizard go even farther in the place that it already is going though. There also might be certain places like here and here that don't need anything because we're already not going to them naturally, I think. Oh dear. Yeah, there's 23. Whatever, we're going to bed. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's every level in this water chapter. I am honestly glad to be done in quotes with water. I mean, like look at that. And like the next time we're gonna be what, what is this? Knight! Oh my god. Chess battle advanced. Alright, it doesn't look like a knight at all, but amazing. Chess battle advanced. Goodbye.